Hey everyone, Katherine King here, and I have a fun little haul here from K Scented Melts. Um, so if you didn't know, she recently put out, let me put this down here, she recently put out a fall sampler. So this fall sampler was more of a bakery fall sampler. So before, I think it was like a fresh sampler she put out, and you know, I'm not a fresh person, so I didn't get that sampler. Um, and in the interim, and I've been, I've told you this before, she has made me an admin for her group, um, which of course makes me feel very blessed. She did send me the sampler in these fun shapes. So I'm debating on giving these away to one of my viewers. So if you would like to win this sampler in all these fun shapes, uh, let me know down below and I will pick someone out of there and I want to know hmm a good question what is your absolute favorite thing about fall so I'm not a fall person I am a summer person I was born in August um, I am summer through and through I mean look you can still see my, uh, a little bit of my tan from where my uh, watch goes, but I want to know your absolute favorite thing about fall, fall, autumn. Is it harvest parties? Is it Halloween? Is it the crisp air? What is it about fall? So many people love fall. And I, am, I mean, our leaves are starting to change in fall and I, and I do enjoy that. Um, but tell me your favorite thing about fall and, um, I will have, well, maybe I'll have my husband pick or I'll just put it in a random um, and I'll send out the sampler. So she sent in all these like fun little, sh oh, this, this scent guys, um, in these fun little shapes. This is my blend. Yes, there is a blend in there that I did, um, but we'll get to this. AJ, I mean, look at this one. Any cute little squirrel. So I will send you the free sampler that she sent me as one of her admins. I will send it to you because uh, I ordered it. Of course I was going to order it. It's got my blend in it. AJ. AJ, of course, has to sit up here. So here's my box. She calls me Kathy, which is whatever. Um, probably because my stuff comes up Kathy. Anyway, she sends it to Kathy. Um, so there we go. AJ, hi, can we just scoot you over? Okay, you sit right there. So let's get started in this. So along with the sampler, I did order a couple um, cuts that I was really, really interested in. So I'm gonna show you my cuts first, then we're gonna go through the sampler. Um, she did send samples in my box. So she does treat my boxes the same as anyone else. It doesn't matter if I'm an admin or not. I still get samples, it's packaged the same, all that kind of stuff. All right, first sample. Oh, these are just the cutest. It's black raspberry vanilla and little strawberries. It's funny, black raspberry in there in their shape of strawberries. Mm, ah, such a good scent. I just love black raspberry vanilla. All right. Okay, Aquadigio in little sunglasses, and Aquadigio is a cologne. Yep, that's a cologne. Sweet on Paris. Mmm, so delicious. A lot of you guys probably know these scents. And cranberry zucchini bread, and I really like that one, and cute little waffles. Mm. I love zucchini bread. Okay, so the cuts that I did this time, because you know I recently did cuts, um, and I melted the other day. I mixed Danny's um, house blend scent that she created with a really, really delicious one. So I'm not a huge Mac Apple fan. Mac Apple to me can be extremely sweet and overpowering, but 
Carla makes this one that is, and it doesn't have a name yet because this is how it came across in the clamshell. Macintosh apple at 10%, marshmallow fluff and zucchini bread. And it is amazing. It is seriously the exact perfect level of Mac apple for me. So mixing um, Danny's blend that has apple clove butter in it, I think, zucchini bread and something else um, with this. Oh, her spooky, spooky season. Anyway, Danny's blend, top notch. You need to try it if you haven't. Mixed with this, with that exact perfect amount of Mac apple. So I gifted um, a good friend of mine my zucchini bread mac apple from L3 because it was too intensely strong on the mac apple. Carla makes it absolutely perfect. She and she the blend that she did before. It's not like I altered it at all, but she, I had told her that mac apple is really strong for me. So she did tell me it was 10% of the blend. So um, recently, Ashley uh, Overly did her empties and talked about banana bake. So I had to pick up a full cut of banana bake. Banana bake, and because it is a house blend, it does have a full label. And this is banana nut bread, bananas flambe, and zucchini bread. It is a house blend, but I don't know if it's a customer created house blend, but she said this was like the best banana zucchini bread mix. Mm. And that is a fantastic banana zucchini bread mix. Okay, the one thing to remember with Carla, so I ordered these like three days ago. <laughs> so these are very recently poured. So they're brand spanking new. Okay, and then my OG, what I had her pour me last year, and I fell in love with this scent. Um, and since I guess people have been ordering it, I did order two sets of cuts on this one. We have chosen to go ahead and name the blend, and it might end up on the list, I'm not sure, but we're calling it Fall Bounty. Um, the name was not chosen, or it was chosen by me, but from a list of names, Carla has the most amazing person who names blends. Her her names are fantastic. She actually named my other one where we did Autumn Crunch. That was my blend. She named that and it's perfect. So we named this Fall Bounty and this is the pumpkin pecan waffles, pumpkin peanut brittle and zucchini bread. So to me, there is like no spice to it. So during this time of season, I have a really hard time with the level of spice in so many of the fall blends. To me, this is the absolute perfect fall blend. I love my Autumn Crunch. That one is kind of like this, but with apple. This though, it is pumpkin, zucchini bread, no spice, no anything. Just that rich, deep fall bakery so fall bounty it is and it is amazing i will continue ordering this now since they are freshly poured i will have them sitting um i believe she does have this oil mixed up if you guys do want to order fall bounty um she's already has the oils all mixed and ready to go i highly recommend it this um i know other people have been ordering this um, I really, really recommend it if you are getting too spiced out, but you still want that rich fall bakery. I really recommend this blend. It's amazing. Okay, so now let's get started with the sampler. I, I already knew I was going to order the sampler. Um, I didn't I honestly didn't realize that Carla sends the sampler to her admin group. So I'm beyond blessed and grateful. That's why I'm giving back to you. So I put that in the box. We'll put that on the floor. Let's get started. So I have already sniffed through these. I have some that are like, eh, 
because they're not really my scent profile. And then I have others that I'm like, I need a cut of that. So let's, I'm just gonna, I just have them stacked up. Let's just start from the top. Overlook Hotel. This one is Jack Frost and I love Jack Frost. It is like a wonderful pepperminty, creamy, um, cold, you know, kind of scent mixed with winter linen and Palo Santo. So you're probably saying, ah, Catherine doesn't like Palo Santo. You're right. I don't like Palo Santo. But this scent is, okay, so it's, the first thing you get is the peppermint. The, the very first thing is Jack Frost. And as you're, you're sniffing it and you're like, oh, that Jack Frost, oh, linen. So it's like a pepperminty linen with a little bit of that smoky something from the Palo. This is so expertly blended. I would get this in a cut, even though it has Palo and it has linen. I'm not a huge linen person because they tend to give me headaches. Do I like linen scents? Yes, I do. But I have to realize what my limitations are with regards to my headaches. So this though, it's perfect. It is a pepperminty, fresh, crisp, clean linen. So my husband and I are still sleeping with the air conditioner on uh, and our fan. Um, we s like to sleep cold, R pretty, pretty cold. Because, and we still have all our blankets on. Even in the summer, we still have all our blankets except for our comforter. We don't put, that's on now, but um, we like to sleep cold. Uh, it's actually better for your sinuses and sleeping and yada, yada. But this reminds me of cuddled up in your bed, freshly washed sheets, and it's crisp and it's cold in your bedroom. And... You just have that freshness of the sheets, little bit of mint, cause I wore mint in my bedroom and that coldness, that is the feeling of this. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. I really hope this stays in her house blend. Is this something I could get a cut in? Probably, would I probably not? I would probably just keep it in clamshell form. So Overlook Hotel, if you like mint and little bit of linen and a little bit of palo. It's amazing. Okay, so this one I wasn't so sure about. All spruced up. You know my head doesn't tolerate tree scents. So sugared spruce, cranberry, and sugar cookie. So this one though, there is something about I can smell the spruce, but there is a sweetness. So I've never had just plain, uh, what is it called? Sugared spruce. Never had just plain sugared spruce because I do limit tree scents. Um, I tried melting them last year. The headaches were, were pretty obscene. So, but there is something sweet. I swear almost citrusy with this. So it's sugar spruce, cranberry, and sugar cookie. It is so good. And to me, the tree isn't too heavy. And the cranberry, some cranberry can come off very tart where it makes your mouth pucker. This doesn't. So I don't know if sugared spruce has more of a sweetness to it since I haven't tried the scent by itself. This is blended so well. Very, very good. So if you like a light tree scent, I really recommend, mm, I almost forgot the name, all spruced up. Really, really good. And I do think this one I can melt. Next one, gobble it up or goblin it up. Uh, caramelized pralines, pumpkin souffle, and cornbread. I love cornbread scents. So when I smelled this one, Oh, it's so good. Okay, so you get the cornbread. Cornbread is not as strong and as pungent and corn chippy as like a zucchini bread, but I love that deep richness of a zucchini bread. This one is more of a light kind of cornbread. 
maybe Jeffy Cornbread. My favorite is, uh, oh, you know, that, that barbecue, Famous Dave's. You can get Famous Dave's to make it home. That's what Tim and I make. He's not a huge cornbread person, but he likes that. I love cornbread. So this is like a Famous Dave's cornbread and you've got it in your cast iron skillet, right? And then you caramelize up some pralines and I don't like nuts. So I don't eat nuts. I Well, smokehouse almonds, but do those count? I really just kind of lick the smokehouse part off. Um, but I don't like nuts and peanuts are legumes. So I don't know what a, a praline honestly smells like, so, or tastes like, but this is what I'm feeling is you've got this cornbread in your, in your skillet and you've got this caramelized pralines that you put over top of, um, over top of the cornbread, right? And then you've got that pumpkin souffle, which is just like a pumpkin fluffiness that it, um, maybe you can put it on top. I don't, I don't make souffles cause I'd probably kill it and make it fall. This is so good, but this one does have that caramelized praline scent in it. So it will have that nuttiness to it. So do you see why I was so excited for this collection? Because it's bakery. Bakery like speaks to me. So good. All right, so we'll go ahead and touch on Autumn Crunch. I have touched on Autumn Crunch before. It's um, apple. Well, she said apple caramel, but I thought it was caramel apple. Maybe it's apple car. Anyway, zucchini bread and peanut uh, pumpkin peanut brittle. Pumpkin peanut brittle is one of my absolute favorite scents. Uh, I just love it. This one now. When you're smelling in the clamshell or you're smelling in the cut, you are going to get the apple forward scent. And at first I thought, oh man, mm -mm. it's really, really good, but it didn't really capture what I was going for. Then I warmed it and that apple wasn't like slap you in the face. Very first thing you smelled. It is the perfect mix of that really deep, rich, um, dense zucchini bread with like an apple caramel compote type thing you put on top of it and then the pumpkin peanut brittle which I just love maybe crunched up some pumpkin peanut brittle and put it on top that's what this is so it may smell more apple forward on cold but it is not apple forward um as you're warming it it was perfect. I messaged Carla and I had told her, oh, it's a little apple forward, you know, blah, blah, blah. She goes, would you change it? And I said, well, let me, let me warm it. And I warmed it. And I said, don't change it a bit. It's perfect. And it was, it was perfect. And then of course I did have to go back to my fall bounty just because I just love that scent. Anyway. All right. So this one, this one's funny. This is called witch's wart. But every time I look at it, I immediately think witch's fart. I have no idea why, but witch's wart, which is pumpkin pecan waffles, candy corn, and coffee. Okay, this one. This is coffee forward, but it is creamy coffee. This is like a latte coffee, not like a black coffee to me. And I think it's because it's got the pumpkin pecan waffles and the candy corn, which add this sweetness to this coffee. So, I know that some people really like the smack, the, what is it? What's Lori say? Peel the paint off the walls kind of coffee. I don't see that as this. My taste in coffee has kind of changed a little bit to where some coffee has become a little bit nauseating to me. But this one with that pumpkin pecan waffles, right? Yes. And the candy corn mixed with the coffee. Beautiful. A nice, creamy, sweet coffee. So that's what witch's wart is. Okay. This one, I'm not sure I can melt. Um, we'll see. It's called blue Christmas and I love how she did it in the blue color. This is balsam cedar, blue sugar, and Palo Santo. All right. When I smell this, cause I just got these in the mail today, but I got my sampler yesterday. This is cedar. This is balsam cedar to me. I 
because those are such strong scents for me, I'm not sure that I am smelling the Palo or the, um, the Blue Sugar. Maybe a bit of the Blue Sugar, but I'm not smelling the Palo. Um, it is a Blue Cedar masculine kind of scent. So um, that's what that is. So if you like a good balsam cedar with a hint of masculine, I think you'd really like Blue Christmas. I will warm it. So now that I'm in dispatch, I have my office and then I have like the dispatch waiting area. I'll probably warm this out there so I can still experience it, but hopefully not get a headache from it. So that one. Next one. I wasn't sure about this one either. It's called Mold Wine love this wine color. This is blackberry Bordeaux, orange cranberry, nutmeg, and spice. Okay. Sweet. The very first thing I get on this is sweet. I don't drink wine. Okay, I take that back. I drank Moscato, which is a sweet dessert wine. It's about all I can tolerate is Moscato. And with um, the meds I take, I don't drink often because you can't mix them. Okay, so this one, the Black Bordeaux Orange Cranberry, which I love her orange cranberry. If you've never tried um, K-Scented Melts, just plain orange cranberry, you need to. It's really, really good. Um, and nutmeg and spice. I don't smell the nutmeg and spice. So it's got to be just perfectly blended in this um, to where it's not slapping you in the face with that spice. So I really like that. But this is the odd part. So um, tell me what you think about this. I swear I smell like a hint of laundry in it. I know that seems really strange. I'm thinking it's the Blackberry Bordeaux. So if you've had her Blackberry Bordeaux, let me know if it has like this fresh laundry-ish kind of feel to it. Because that's kind of what I'm getting. So I am excited to warm this. Even though it had that nutmeg and sp spice and I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm actually kind of excited to warm that. All right. Four more. Let's go ahead and do this one next. Fall Farmhouse. This one, Fallen Leaves, Crackling Fire, and Cinnamon. All things that I cannot warm. Um, I'm not a huge fire person. To me, um, I don't know if it's a level of PTSD, but we had the fires in September two years ago, and just the smell of fire just... It is nauseating. Um, the fires were fairly close. So those of you who live in California or close to places that have fires routinely um, might understand that smell. And so I don't tend to like any kind of fire note, smoke note in my wax. Uh, it just brings back those memories. And we had fires again this last September, but they were not close. So our sky wasn't orange like it was two years ago, but we definitely had this smoky scent in our air. Do I like campfires? Yes, but that is different. So I'm a little nervous about this. I do like falling leaves or fallen leaves or falling leaves, you know, that kind of leaf scent. It does tend to be headache inducing for me. So this very first thing you smell is the smokiness of the scent. Then you get the fallen leaves. So I don't know if it's a Bath and Body Works dupe, um, but this does remind me of more of a campfire kind of smoky warmth. And the cinnamon in this might be delivering that warmth. And it's almost like you took some of those dried leaves that are out in your yard or if you're out camping and you put those dried leaves on your fire. That's kind of what I'm getting here is the fallen leaves with that smokiness and maybe a hint of the cinnamon. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to warm this. So for me, I'm gonna try this again in the waiting area so I can experience it and hopefully not get a headache but that's what that one is. Okay, next one. Pumpkin Loves Coconut. 
This one is so good. All right, Coconut Cream by Pumpkin Cupcakes and Cider Lane. So you're thinking Coconut, Cider Lane, Pumpkin, I don't know. It is so good. Very first thing I smell is Cider Lane. Then you have that, that Pumpkin Cupcakes. So um, there's no like spice to this. And I, I like that in some of these pumpkin blends that they don't have, it's not like a pumpkin and spice. So you've got pumpkin and cinnamon. So many of Scentsy's have so much spice in them that it, it's hard for me. I love how this one is creamy, I think from the coconut, as you're taking it away from your nose. Now, granted, these are cold sniffs. I have not warmed these, just got them in the mail. As you're taking it away from your nose, you can get that creaminess of the coconut cream pie. You have the cider lane for sure. And then that pumpkin cupcake is this pumpkin sweetness, almost like a cakey kind of note to it. Really, really good. Very excited for that one. Okay. And then this one, oh my word. And I don't, I don't know who, I'd have to look online to see who all created these. I know one is one that I created and she asked me if it could be included in the set. This was before I was an admin. Um, so I don't know who created this, but this is so good. Toasted monkey pie. So monkey bread, which can tend to be a little bit on the spicy side. Toasted mallow and coconut cream pie. It's so, so good. It's creamy. It, there is a definite creaminess to this. I'm not sure I'm smelling like, I think toasted mallow, correct me if I'm wrong, is not a smoky scent, it's more of a, a like I like my marshmallows blackened, let's be honest. It is a very sweet marshmallow. And then that monkey bread is just a sweet caramely kind of note. There's no spice to it again. It's just this creamy, delicious bread, gooeyness, yumminess. Like I wanna go make monkey bread. If you've never had monkey bread, you, you can just take biscuit dough, cut it in pieces, put a caramel drizzle over the top and bake it. Oh, with that coconut cream pie though. Oh my gosh. So I think it is really fun that there are two blends in here with coconut cream pie in it. So that's the sampler. I highly recommend each and every scent. Now I've, I saw when I posted this on Facebook, I saw that, um, my good friend Diane had asked if they're going to be individual. I don't know. Um, I think the really good sellers should be, but this company is owned by Carla, so she will do what she wants to do. But I highly recommend this. If you are a bakery lover, I really, really recommend this sampler set. I think it's still available. It is limited, so I really, really recommend it. Um, my favorites are definitely toasted monkey pie. I really do love my autumn crunch. I'll be honest. Um, really, really love overlook hotel. If you like peppermint, very, very good. Um, and then my other favorite was the goblin it up and that's the one with the cornbread. So that's the sampler. I really hope you guys pick it up. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think of the sampler. So remember, if you wanna be entered in for a drawing for the sampler that was sent to me, then tell me what your absolute favorite thing is about fall. And I will pick someone from there and contact you privately, probably on Instagram. So if you leave your, your IG in there, that would be fantastic. Um, uh, and then I'll get this uh, sampler sent out to you ASAP. So I'll give it a couple days. I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this. Um, I may have Starlink, but uploading still kind of sucks. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for listening to the fun stuff that's going on at K's and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.